Hey everyone, this is Phil, and today I'm going to show you this Zanchi Pro M. This is a modern remake of the legendary Dian Zanchi, a cube that dominated the speed cubing scene in 2012. Basically, that was pretty much the only cube people used back then, and it's great to see Dian make a new copy. As you know, I'm fairly critical of the earlier iterations of the Zanchi, the Zanchi 2017. Uh, I believe they also made one in 2018. Neither was very good. But this one follows the logic of the Tang Yun series and the Gu Hong series, and uh, so it stands to be a lot better. So in this video, we will check out the features and how it feels and how it moves, and we'll also take a look at some solves, and we'll decide together how good is this cube, is it worth getting, and how we generally feel about it. Let's get started. So this is what comes with the cube inside the box. Besides the cube itself, we have a pamphlet that explains the features. We don't really need this because I'm going to explain the features on this video. We have this nice bag. This screwdriver is used to both adjust the cube and also change the magnet strength. So it's uh, multifunctional and this is also a multifunctional tool. Uh, the short end does something else and then this wide end uh, adjusts tension. So uh, each tool in this cube serves more than one function, which is pretty cool. And then there's this nice card. It says Zanchi Pro M. It has a really high quality feature. I don't know what this number is for, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm very excited and the, the lone goose is back for sure. This is very exciting. So this is the cube itself. It weighs about 78 grams and is 56 millimeters. So it's on the lighter end of uh, three by three speed cubes. The movement is uh, really reasonable outside the box. It's a little bit tight and we felt it was a little bit slow, especially the uh, M slices were a little sluggish, but after some lubing and breaking in and adjusting the features, we got it to work just fine. And now the movement is pretty good. Uh, the corner cutting, Forward it goes, if you corner cut backwards too much, the cube will like snap at you. You know, like it, it doesn't really like being corner cut backwards uh, too aggressively, but small cuts are completely fine. Aside from the snapping of the reverse corner cutting, this cube moves very quietly. It's very good experience. And the feeling is really similar to the more recent Tang Yun and Gu Hong releases by Dian. So first things first, let's check out how to adjust the magnets. This is actually the carousel system that was featured on the Tang Yun 2. This is really straightforward. The uh, number on the outside is the number that interfaces with the corner magnets. So you want the setting you want to be on the outside. So you can swap it. Right now it's at two. You could change it to three by doing this and it will snap into place and tell you that it's in tight and in the right setting or you can change it to one, which is a relatively weak magnet setting. I like two and that's what I'll be using to do my solves, but uh, any, any one of them is really speed cube viable. And I really like how simple and fast it is to adjust the magnets. I was able to do it in just a few seconds, you know, just take it and go boom, 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 turn it over, boom, 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 and then it's done. You actually don't need to take the cube apart to adjust the magnets. I only did this to show you what the carousel looks like, but, uh, you can do this when the cube is fully assembled. Very good feature. Okay, so we've opened the center cap and inside is this interesting looking design. There are two things that you can do here besides just turn the screw, which is the most basic thing. And uh, these two things have to do with this interesting tool. So the first one is you can use the thinner end of the tool to adjust the elasticity. All you need to do is find the, uh, there are two crevices over here and you put these two protrusions inside the crevice and then you can turn. And there's a protrusion on the screw here. You see this long part of the screw. It notches into one of the four settings and you can change the elasticity there. If you wanna change the tension, there are four settings besides the whole like freeform screwdriver you can use. And uh, you can use these two notches on the wide end. Let's see if I can find that. Yeah, right here, the wide end of this uh, tool and fit it inside and turn clockwise and you get four tension settings. So this is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a little different from the Tang Yun V2 adjustment system, but it does pretty much the same thing. Uh, makes me wonder why Diane changed their system to just achieve the same result, but either way, it's pretty intuitive. This short end is for elasticity. The long end is for tension. Very cool. So now we know all about this cube. It has a really cool gold logo. So let's do some solves and check out how this cube performs in a solving environment. I have mixed feelings on the Zanchi Pro M. It goes without saying this iteration is much better than the 2017 and 2018 versions, both of which were considered failures. 
As a cube, the Xanchi Pro M is fine. It has good specs, moves reasonably well, can corner cut, and has a suite of features that addresses most cuber needs. My hang-up with the Xanchi Pro M is that it doesn't seem like the most unique cube. It's very close in feel to the Tangyun V2. Both cubes have exactly the same features and can be described as smooth and soft. The Xanchi Pro is just a little firmer in feel. I guess I'm slightly disappointed because this is now Dian's most expensive and supposedly most premium 3x3 judging by price, and I was hoping for more. After all, its theme contains two very powerful words, Xanchi and Pro. My first impression is, if you want to try an exceptionally smooth and soft cube and don't have a modern Dian, then this model is really worth considering. However, if you already have a Tang Yun, then this cube may feel somewhat duplicative unless you've been wishing for a slightly more stable Tang Yun V2. That's about it. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Take care, and see you next time. This seems to make the most sense for me, and that's what I'll be using to do my solves. Uh, 